Hey guys, this is Sketch Monkey here and welcome back to the channel. I'm wearing my Datsun 240Z t-shirts which you can get down below in the description and you know that when I do, it's a special day. It's special today because Bugatti has revealed a brand new model and that is of course the Bolide Concept which is a lightweight track focused hypercar and it's Bugatti's way of showing off what the 8 liter quad turbo W16 engine can actually do. In the bow lead the turbos have been upgraded instead of producing a mere 1500 horsepower like it does in the Chiron here it puts out an incredible 1825 horsepower and 1364 pound feet of torque 0 to 60 takes about 2.17 seconds with a top speed of over 310 miles per hour some other changes on the bow lead here includes the throttling the intake an upgraded dry sump oil system and the introduction of an air-to-air -air intercooler on the outside only 40% of the body of the bow lead has actually paint on it while the rest of the body is exposed carbon fiber and it looks absolutely fantastic now I want to show you something here in Photoshop just how much of the Bugatti DNA is still in the bow lead here so here on top we have of course the new hypercar which is the bowling and then on top of that i want to show you the devo and then the chiron and let's go through the key lines of bugatti and how they evolved in the bowling here so here you can definitely see brand identity of bugatti especially in the in the traditional c line that we have right here for example in the Devo that goes right here you have it also in the bow lead but it's very very thin it's almost like it's been shrunk down and be even more streamlined to fit the bow lead side profile it's more it's like the the more hyper the car is the less height this C graphic gets if you have a look at the regular Chiron here for example which which has a very distinct C curve especially here in this trim we have it blue in combination with the beautiful Beautiful blue wheels here you can see that it's a lot more distinct like this the C graphics right here compared to the Devo and then it gets narrower and narrower till it's almost barely visible in the bow lead right there you can also track these details of the Devo for example being transformed into a more hypered version of these graphics that you have here and also looking at it of course from a top view you're going to see this center line that is typical for Bugatti and very traditional throughout the years of manufacturing cars with Bugatti almost every single Bugatti has had these two lines you have the C line on the shape and then of course the center line that stretches from the start of the hood all the way to the back of the car at that point right there one more thing I want to talk about when it comes to the design here it are these X headlights which I personally love because they do really look like the old tape that they put on the headlights just in case it would shatter so if it were on a racetrack and you were racing your car and you bumped into another car in front of you and the glass would shatter you wouldn't scatter all over the track and this looks very cool and it's like a modern interpretation of those tape stripes but of course here we have them in a LED form and it actually makes up the light of the car but if we discard that graphic features let's just say that we paint over this I want to show you something really cool here that popped up to me the moment I saw this car so let's just fill out these fenders and remove this light here and look at the intake now in the hood doesn't that remind you a little bit of the Bugatti EB 110 when you look at this point right here when you look at these intakes here think of these intakes as uh, headlights and everything becomes a lot more clear when you if you can manage to think of these in, intakes in the hood as headlights they sit very narrow to each other and it kind of reminds me of the EB 110 when you look at it like this and especially when you have removed the X lights or the X daytime running lights that you have out on the fenders and only focus on these two graphic features right here maybe if we even put in some LEDs in here you can definitely see 
the Bugatti resemblance in this graphic features right here. Even though, of course, it looks a little weird because it's so narrow right now. But in fact, this car is so wide that I think this positioning of the headlights, which actually makes sense in a production car, although you would obviously need to have some sort of indicator here, out here in the end of end point of the car just for some regulation purposes. But you have some massive openings in the hood that expose the suspension and the wheels are super light magnesium center lock wheels the way only 16.3 pounds in the front and 18 and a half pounds in the rear and on top of that the bolide has carbon ceramic rotors with lightweight calipers in the back there is the largest single graphic element on the car which is the x shaped tail lights which i personally love on the design here and bugatti says that they are inspired by the bell x1 jet aircraft of the late 1940s which was piloted by Captain Chuck Yeager, the first person to ever break the sound barrier. Bugatti has yet to decide whether or not the Bolid will go into production. If it does, there are a lot of changes that needs to be made to make it at least street legal, unless they want to keep it a pure track focused car. For example, you need proper side mirrors, you need proper headlights and rear lights with indicators front and rear, of course. But I have a feeling there will be a massive interest from wealthy buyers to build a limited numbers of bullies for their private collections. And I'm looking at you, Manny Koshpin. This bullet here could also be a preview of a future race car from Bugatti. And the reason I'm saying that is because we all know that there will be a completely new hypercar class for next year's 24 Hours of Le Mans. And this could be a preview of what Bugatti would present in a race like that. Now, finally, let's have a look at the rear. And I think this right here, this angle of the car of the Bolid is the money shot of the car. It means that this is, in my opinion, the coolest angle you can have on this car because you can see these massive wheels and the width and beefiness of these rear tires just planting this spaceship onto the ground right here and of course you can also see this x shaped rear light assembly and this is something that you can see all over the car you see these x's pop up graphically in a lot of different areas of the car and that of course stands for experimental and the big exhaust quad exhausts that are positioned right in the middle and up of the car just like a pagani wire for example and the reason for that is to make the diffuser as effective as possible by giving it as much real estate down here as possible and not have it be disturbed by any sort of exhaust either on this side or in the center which will then disrupt the airflow going under the car and i love the massive wing on this car as well just look at how beautiful this thing is especially when you have the bugatti letters painted underneath the wing it just looks like a beast from this angle right here i'm a little bit surprised that it's not a hybrid and that it's not a an electric car on one hand I'm really excited that it's not because this might be the last showcase of what this specific engine can do it can be the top of the range like a last celebration to the w16 engine but at the same time I'm really excited and looking forward to see what Bugatti will come up with when it comes to electric performance because if these are the numbers that they come up with with a regular internal combustion engine at w16 then I honestly can't can't wait to see the numbers he will come up with on an electric platform.